Well, awesome. Thank you, Chad. Um, so again, my name is Chris Drysdale. I'm the telematics and support specialist. So I have David Zienstra here. Uh, he is the precision field sales rep uh, for New Holland. Um, so known him for many years. This is his bread and butter. He does the technology side. Uh, so David, why don't you walk us through what's going on right now with PLM Connect and, and all the platform? Yeah, by all means. I mean, today we've spoken a lot in regards to the actual machines and the operations, but now we're going to speak towards the data and the platform and what itself is what we're developing so that we can deliver you a better customer experience. So right behind me here, I have what is our customer landing page, our My New Holland website. This is where you would, from a single point of reference, have all of your equipment, your precision farming aspects, as well as your dealer reference uh, for running into your connected asset accounts. Okay, so from here, as we can see, this is a live demonstration. We have our equipment tab where we can visualize that equipment as well as our connected asset portion where we can see what we have for our uh, precision farming technologies. So working through, we can actually assign dealers as well as add manual serial numbers and have your how-to videos or your operator's manuals right from a single platform, okay? We can also have an application that you can have downloaded on your phone so you don't have to do this through a web interface. So everything is made for manageability on the go as well as when you're sitting in the office and looking over your fleet information. Okay, so from here, we can actually access our fleet connectivity tab. From the fleet connectivity tab, we can actually see a quick high level summary of what machines we have connected, where they are, how they're operating, okay? This is your landing page. This is what you see as soon as you enter the platform. However, if I want to take a little bit of a higher level overview on maybe a specific unit like this wind rower that is currently traveling, I can simply click on that unit. It'll load from here and then we can actually get details and individual parameters of that machine once it finishes loading up here. Apologies, the Wi-Fi is a little bit fun here. Well, while I'm waiting for that, so some of the parameters that we can see, we have our fuel usage, our fuel average per utilization. We can see specific platform parameters, such as with combines, we can see things like the header height controls at current, and we can see uh, certain sensors, like our SIV operating sensors, as reported, as last reported. So keep in mind, this is within a 15 to 30 minute space. This is not live on the fly, okay? So this is reported as soon as the machine reports to the platform and then can represent that data. But another useful aspect of this platform, aside from the visualization of your vehicles, which if your uh, Wi-Fi is network Wi-Fi like this, you can have a little bit of fun, the ability to remotely service you from a dealership perspective, okay? So this tool is also available to the dealers as long as you give them permission. Okay, and with that dealer permission, then we can drive remote service opportunities, remote diagnostic opportunities, as well as simple location utility. I.e., if I were to take a look at this vehicle, and from the overview, I can change my list option, I don't know if that was easily visible here, to a mapping option. And again, I hope the Wi-Fi is kicking in here. No, it's not. Yeah, it kicked me out. Was it events? Yeah. Apologies, technical difficulties, nothing that technology is not used to. Do you mind playing around and just making sure that that works in? Nope, we're good. All right. All right, let's try this again. Apologies. There, you go. there we go. So now we get to this fleet overview. We have a map, and this is our CNH internal demo platform. So this is actually all the demo vehicles we have currently running throughout the United States and North America, right? So I can individualize these vehicles, highlight them. Now I can see exactly where it is. It's running in the field. And if I zoom out just a hair, it should show an update quite soon on if it's actually running and moving. 
I can visualize the severity of the alerts, see current engine hours, fuel level, even the current operating speed. So he must be cutting because he's going 16 and a half mile an hour. And then I can go into the vehicle detail section. And this is where your connection with the dealership would matter because then they can see exactly what you see from this platform. Okay, so we can see the status in work. We have serial number reference, even utilization of the fuel. Moving over to the specific parameters, we can see things like ground speed on a wind rower, oil temperature, battery voltage, all of your pressure sensor indications. Again, this is for the dealership or yourself to diagnose your vehicles remotely without having to be on site. And then from there, we can go into our alert section and actually have a high visibility of alerts if there are alerts assigned to those vehicles. So I can see them in order. I can see the actual fault codes, where they were sourced from and at one time they occurred, right? And then I can view the number of occurrences history and I can help diagnose my machine remotely again with the dealer connections by yourself, however you want to manage this, okay? So fantastic. We can even create custom notifications. We can create them for things like ground speed alerts, uh, fuel level, uh, so your fuel guy knows when to go actually fill up the machines in the field in operation. Pretty limitless options, whatever parameters you want visible to you and whatever notifications you want to deliver. This can be your platform to manage from a single point of access. All right, then we can move on to what is considered our farm tab. So from the farm tab, which is also a portion of the connected assets pages, we actually can run, sorry, this one's a little bit wide. There we go. That we can actually have an overview of our digital farming operation, okay? So from this digital farming operation, this is data that is either loaded manually for historical data, like some of this, or loaded via telematics and file transfer as you're operating in the field today, okay? What it gives us is a summary of activities, the actual weather events that have occurred within the last, what, two weeks? Yeah, something like that, two weeks with inaccuracy. As well as if you have division of crops or division of commodity, we can actually allocate those divisions of commodities as well. So you can track what acres are what and work with your agronomist even by creating a partnership through here and then work with them on your prescriptions, your variable rate applications, and just the accessibility to your agronomic data. So we really worked the portion of the ownership of the platform. So you have access to all of your operator's manuals, all of your equipment serial numbers, uh, think the my shed, but improved. And then we worked on to the fleet application, which is our digital connection to your machines, so we can remotely support and remotely work with those machines. And with correct activations, we actually have remote support tools for especially our next generation of machines with our PLM intelligence machines, right? We have remote assistance, but not remote support operation with those kinds of machines. And now we move on to the agronomic portion. And from this agronomic portion, we can actually drill right down into field operations. And of course, I've timed out. Well, that is going to be fun. Apologies, one second. Why is that happening? No, I think I actually just lost my farm access. Um. 
Apologies, technical difficulties. So I'm in here, I go to here, I've created a whole new jump in. Um, so actually going back to the, uh, to the partnership and everything in terms of data, um, how it works with your agronomist, uh, you can actually create an account for them that they have their own login credentials, uh, they can jump in and they can actually have access, limited access that you define uh, to your data to that platform. So they would actually have their own account uh, they and you limit what what is available. Uh, you can you can have them only access just obviously yield and agronomic data. Uh, you can do different things. Um, so it is it is pretty handy and, and as David is saying, um, the design of it is so that you have full access. We don't want you giving out your password. It is yours. Uh, you know, we, we want you to administrate it, uh, which for us as a dealer, obviously, we would like that partnership for you to give us access so that we can assist you. Uh, but again, that is 100% in your control uh, and something that, that you have uh, you have the ultimate decision on. So it, it's it's a tool to help us help you, um, but at the same time, it is, it, it's something that you can choose to use or not. So uh, we'll just see if David's getting pretty close here. We rolling up. Okay. So just signing back in. So just give us a second. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, apologies for the delay here. All right. So we can get back to that high level overview of what we were dealing with before. Apologies for the technical difficulties. Evidently pre-setting up and waiting for timeouts doesn't work very well. Okay, so we can go back into the agronomic portion. We can actually highlight these individual fields, see the operations in which they were operated, see the current weather conditions, and then we can go to an activity log, right? So we can see that we have a defined area. We know that we've had wheat as a cover crop and that was the seed rate, and then they did two varieties of corn, okay? Take a look at uh, some of the weather information that's happened over that timeline. So we can see the last hour rainfall, last 24 hours of rainfall, as well as the daily rainfall over that time period. So very good agronomic tool to see the performance of your crop and as well as you can tie your own personal weather stations into this platform as well. Okay, so this is the weather station provided by uh, General Agronomic Proportions or Weather Canada or whatever you want to say. But we can also integrate things like a farmer's edge integration. Uh, we can work through scouting, we can work through activities, running through our applications, planting, harvesting. Right, you can see our product inputs, run through harvest tracking, just that high level summary. So we can really dive into the high level of this platform or we can dive deep into this platform, but what it is going to be, it's going to be a home for your agronomic data that you can partner with either your agronomist or take care of it and manage it yourself or even partner with your dealerships if your dealerships are willing to take that responsibility, which few and far between, if I'm not mistaken, Chris, as agronomic data is your data. From a New Holland standpoint, your data is your data. We have no access to this without the permission that is delivered, as Chris has mentioned. So with Rocky Mountain as your partner, obviously we can definitely work forward in creating a great digital environment and digital farming operation. Yes. Okay, well, uh, awesome. Thank you, David. Uh, if you guys have any questions, again, please do email us at uh, aos at rockymtn.com. Uh, we're going to close up here, uh, and we're going to move it back to Chad. Um, so we're going to get going here right away. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much, David. And uh, if you have any questions, please do reach out to us. Happy to help, happy to get those answered. Uh, and so, Chad, we'll take it over to you. Thank you.